From the icy heights of the Chugash Mountains in southeastern Alaska, the Columbia Glacier flows down a winding valley into Prince William Sound. This massive river of ice, once stable for centuries, began a dramatic retreat in 1980 that continues to this day. Let's journey across space and time to witness one of Earth's most rapidly changing glaciers. What happened here? Let's take a closer look, from above and through time. Here is the Columbia Glacier in 2024. The bright cyan reveals ice and snow, dark blues show open water, and exposed brown rock marks where ice has vanished. Swipe back to 1986, and the difference is striking. Over nearly four decades, the glacier has retreated more than 20 kilometers. Areas once buried in thick ice are now bare rock and open ocean. This time-lapse animation, built from nearly 40 years of satellite imagery, reveals Columbia Glacier's dramatic retreat. The images were captured by NASA's Landsat satellites using false color composites, where snow and ice appear bright cyan, vegetation is green, bedrock is brown, and open water is deep blue. With this enhanced perspective, subtle changes become unmistakable. Watch as the glacier's main branch pulls back from Tarantive Lake, past Great Nunatak Peak, and retreats more than 20 kilometers. Between 2000 and 2006, the retreat stalled, briefly held in place by rocky outcrops like Caden Peak. But the ice thinned, the bedrock widened, and by 2011, the glacier split into two separate branches. The West Branch, once thought stable, resumed its retreat in 2013. By 2014, the main branch had thinned so much it lost traction with the bed, becoming sensitive to tidal motion miles inland. Year by year, the ice melts away. Each ring of newly exposed rock, called a trimline, tells the story of just how much volume the glacier has lost. This single glacier accounts for nearly half the ice loss in the Chugash Mountains. When Columbia Glacier reaches land again, its retreat may slow, perhaps even stop. But until then, it remains a powerful example of how fast Earth's frozen landscapes can transform.